former cabinet officials of the Duterte administration denied the alleged gentleman's agreement between former President Rodrigo Duterte and Chinese President Xi Jinping. One former official even insisted the agreement in Panatag Shoal was formed by Xi and the late President Noynoy Aquino. Here's the report. Three of former President Rodrigo Duterte's cabinet members have attended the House hearing on the alleged gentleman's agreement between their former boss and Chinese President Xi Jinping. They are former Executive Secretary Salvador Medial Dia, former Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, and former National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr. Duterte and Xi met eight times from 2016 to 2019. The former president was with Medialdea in two of those meetings. According to the former executive secretary, the two did not form an agreement about the West Philippine Sea. No gentleman's agreement ever took place between former President Duterte and President Xi. President Duterte, being a lawyer, knew fully well that it was full hardy to enter into an agreement, especially a gentleman's agreement at that, with the President of the People's Republic of China on matters involving sovereign rights. Duterte previously admitted that he and she agreed to keep the status quo of only delivering food and water to soldiers stationed at BRP Sierra Madre in Ayungin Show. This means the government should not make any attempts of repairing the decaying warship. Medialdea insisted the agreement started during late President Noynoy Aquino's administration in 2013. There was a commitment by then Walter Gasmin that um, he promised the Chinese embassy that he will only he will deliver only food and water to the marines assigned at the vessel. Lawrence Hanna said they started preparing the ship in 2021, but China started blasting water cannons to our vessels. The Chinese uh, embassy is claiming that we are trying to strengthen the ship as a whole. Pinapaganda natin yung, uh, pinirepair natin yung, yung ship. But uh, according to the Navy, which I, when I talked to them, I nirepair lang nila yung... Uh, Tulugan at tirahan ng ating, ng ating uh, uh, detachment doon, which we did. However, congressmen argued that Aquino was still challenging China's nine-dash claim in the International Tribunal during his administration. The 26th arbitral ruling that sided with our country against China came out during the Duterte's term. So how come the Duterte administration did not change the status quo? We can't help but express our surprise, Pono. And in 2016, when the arbitration ruling came out, explicitly saying that meron pa tayong exclusive sovereign rights over exclusive economic zone, hindi po binago yung supposed status quo. In defense, Medial Dea said, You were towards a different direction at the time. How can we attain a good relationship with China, no? even with the decision at hand? It was something that the, old, the former president was saying, I have this decision now. I can carry it. The House Committee will invite Aquino's Defense Secretary, Voltaire Gazmin, and Duterte's former presidential spokesperson, Harry Roque, in the next hearing.